Hello! In today's video, I thought I would do something a little bit different. I realized that across all of my publications, I like using the same metaphor, same language to either show growth or make some sort of connection between them. Similarly to how I do my poetry readings and dissections, I would just do that, but also read the second entry and then talk about how those two are connected. I not only love writing and what I do, but I also love making every single little thing have meaning. So there are some things within each of the books that only maybe I would have realized because I'm so detail oriented. I thought it would be pretty cool to share some of that with you and it'll be part of this video now. So do let me know if you would like me to continue doing videos like this. I would love to read one part from Neon Sun. It's on page 19. It is under the chapter Afternoon. It's just four lines but it is so simple and I really wanted to talk about it because throughout all of my books, if you read closely enough, which I have, <laughs> There are some entries that actually interconnect throughout Bone, throughout X, throughout Neon Sun, and now with my fourth book coming. I wanted to also read this one for that reason. So, golden blanket, enchanted, golden heart, planted. I think that is so beautiful without saying a lot, it's saying so much. Not only is this entry reflecting the afternoon where the sun comes down and begins to have that really golden glisten. So golden blanket, that's saying the sun is coming down like a blanket comforts you. The next line, enchanted. So golden blanket, enchanted. So it's kind of like an attempt to reflect the way of the warmth that you feel when you love someone or when you're around someone that you love. Basically that warmth that is within you that you can't really articulate but you know you feel. So the word enchanted is to also support the feeling that you get when you are around someone that you love or in love, that just that feeling. So it's delight and kind of like you're in a, um, a dream almost, but it's real. Golden heart planted. So the persistent use of golden is deliberate. Golden blanket, the sun coming down, giving us warmth. Golden heart. A golden heart is reflected of someone who has just such a pure heart and loves with no reservation. Last line, planted. Golden heart planted. The reason why I wanted to read this, we're getting to it. <laughs> this to me means that I'm planted. I put my seed here and I'm wanting to grow. I'm wanting to grow with you. Enrich the soil that's around me because I have planted myself here and I'm growing here with you, the person that I love. Now, let's get to the reason why I wrote that, which is in Bones, my first poetry book. The entry that I'm reading from is titled Seeds. I was just a sunflower. One day, I want to plant my seeds, I said. When he left at dusk, I began to wilt. There was another world of darkness waiting beneath the moonlight. When my stem becomes stronger, I will find somewhere else to plant myself, somewhere with deeper roots. Let's discuss why I wanted to read the entry from Neon Sun and why I said it is relevant to this one. The depth of the meaning of this is why I wrote that entry in Neon Sun and why I wanted to really reflect in a whole book about love the black and white difference between them. I was just a sunflower. So the meaning of me being a sunflower is I'm facing the sun. If you aren't aware, sunflowers typically face the sun, so wherever the sun moves, sunflowers turn to face. One day I want to plant my seeds, I said. So sunflowers in the inside have their seeds, saying I'm ready to drop them, I'm wanting to grow into a bigger, more beautiful, lush garden with you. The next line. When he left at dusk, I began to wilt. So when the sun sets, sunflowers typically naturally wilt. So that was me reflecting the way I felt when he left as well, because I was trying to face the sun, I was trying to face the warmth of love. I was trying to really grasp onto it, but him leaving at dusk, it's me saying that I really loved him because I viewed him as that warmth. 
that he gave me. To continue, there was a world of darkness waiting beneath the moonlight. That one just basically means when you are heartbroken, you do feel that darkness, you do feel that coldness. Beneath the moonlight, I was also trying to reflect the contrast between the golden colour, the warmth that sun gives you versus the cool light and the cold feeling of the moon. When my stem becomes stronger, I know I need to move on, I know I need to become a stronger person from this, I need to let go and build my own stem, which would be my spine, my, my heart, my body, my soul, etc. I will find somewhere else to plant myself, somewhere with deeper roots. The fact that I had taken this entry and the metaphor of me being a sunflower and me dropping my seeds wanting to grow with somebody but recognizing that I cannot plant myself here with this person and in this relationship because I need deeper roots. So I know I want to love. I know I want to express love. I know I want to accept love. And me recognizing that when I become a stronger person, when I'm ready for it, I will find someone else. I will find somewhere else to plant myself. And I know that that will be somewhere with deeper roots. Somewhere where I am able to plant myself. Where I am able to grow with them in love. So, I read from both my first poetry book and my third poetry book, Bones and Neon Sun. If you are interested to purchase either of them, they're all available on Amazon and other book retailers, including my website. I have linked them all down below in the description. Thanks again for watching and until next time. Bye! It is under the chapter... Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't mean to put that finger. <laughs> And it is undie, undies. <laughs> oh, that's the postie. Thank you so much. Gosh, I left that recording. It's reflecting how I. Let me just catch my breath. <laughs> my seed here. Why did I sound American? <laughs>